What's up guys, it's Joe, and I'm going to do a little bit of a different kind of video today, which is going to be my October 2014 favorites video. Dun dun dun! Kidding, it's not really scary. Okay, so my first thing on my list is this new song from Taylor Swift's new album called 1989, which I'm guessing is when she was born, but, um... I've heard that the song is not that popular around people because they think it's just repetitive and I don't really know what they think, but I think it's awesome. So I just think it's really good and it's um, from her 1989 album, of course I bought it. Yeah, I love it. Okay, so there's that, and my next um, favorite is the weather. I just love the weather, and pretty much it's just because of what I wear every day. So basically, just what I wear every day is just a sweatshirt and jeans and socks and, like, obviously a shirt under here. But uh, I think it's perfect for this kind of weather because it's not too hot and not too cold, so it's like a perfect mix for exactly what I wear pretty much all year except for the summer. My next favorite is the Diptych app, which is basically a collage app for the iPhone, and I think the iPad too. Not iPad 2, but also the iPad, you know what I'm saying, a little something, something. Don't even know why I say that, really. But it gives you all these options um, to make collages. It goes from simple to really, really cool and just fancy with all these cool different designs. They come in all different colors and stuff. And if I wanted to do something, I would just put a picture in there, and I could put whatever pictures I want, just to make a collage. And then you can also add a border, frames, aspect it, the whole thingy, and then text. I can add overlays of text and a lot of cool different things. So that's Diptych. My next favorite for October is Monopoly Electronic Banking, the board game, which is basically just Monopoly, which I'm obsessed with, and I'm also obsessed with board games, so this is like a perfect combo for me. And it is like electronic, so obviously I love that too. Yeah. But it's basically Monopoly, where they have this little, like, calculator looking thing where you select credit cards into the bottom. God, that was weird and inappropriate. You select credit cards into the bottom, and then it says the balance, and basically it's like banking. But it's like fake credit cards, obviously, and instead of using the money, it's like the alternative credit cards. However, the game can get a little bit, like, slower and delayed and, like, annoying for the banker, which is normally me. Um, because I'm the only one that knows how to use the machine. It's a very, very simple machine if you actually read the book, but I'm the only one that actually has read the book. But I don't think it's that hard. I think it's actually a really fun game if you have the patience for it. My next favorite is Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Now, I only have four packs of these left because I am such a fatty and I've already eaten all the other ones. For some reason, I always get a lot of Reese's on Halloween, and that's not why they're my favorites. They're always my favorites, but I don't know, because whenever I see Reese's, I'm like, ooh, I'll have that. And it's just, I don't know, I love them because they're like the perfect amount. This is my favorite kind, like these kinds. This has two in it, by the way. But this kind, the, the like one little normal sized cup, is my favorite because it's like the perfect balance of chocolate and peanut butter infused. Okay, so the last favorite on my list for October is this app called Countdown Plus. Even though it's called Countdown Plus, it is the light version, but I think it works perfectly fine. The only real thing, oh my god, 1989 Taylor Swift, the ad on the bottom. I'm not sure if you can see that, but I was literally just talking about that. That is so weird. That is so weird. Okay. But anyway, this is basically a countdown, oh my god, a countdown app where I almost just deleted one of my countdowns and dropped my phone, which already has crack in, by the way. Um, but I just really like it because it's just countdowns and I like counting down and being organized and I just like countdowns for like holidays and vacations and trips and like, yeah, vacations and trips are the same thing. Oh my god. Am I delirious? Hi, Cry. But, um, I'm going, I have on here my birthday, Halloween, Christmas, Hanukkah, um, Thanksgiving in Florida, which I'm actually going to in two days on Thursday. I, this thing is really weird, because it says two days, but it's actually three days. I'm going to Florida on Thursday, 
So I'm going to be daily vlogging there, but I'm not exactly sure when I'm going to upload this yet, but let's get back on topic. So I can click on here, and I actually got this picture from Google Images, and it's actually where in Florida I am going. So then I, it tells me to the second how um, long it's going to be until I go. And I set that to the exact time. I set that to midnight because I didn't really know exactly when we were leaving. But I can just scroll through all of my pictures. And I think this is really helpful, and it's by far my favorite countdown app of all the ones I've seen, the best light version, and I did not pay a dime, or nickel, or a penny, or a quarter, or a dollar, or anything for this app. It's absolutely free. Alright, so thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. Also, everything I mentioned in the video will be in the description, if it is possible. Um, and, okay, bye-bye now. Just keep swimming. Bye.